to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here so guys amnesty international has urged the zimbabwean government to investigate the enforced disappearance and torture of nelson mukwena a triple c political activist mukwena was allegedly abducted by suspected state security agents on august 26 Amnesty International's Deputy Director for Southern Africa, Kanyo Farise, said those responsible for Mukwenya's disappearance and torture should be brought to justice. Said Farise, Amnesty International strongly condemns the enforced disappearance and torture of Nelson Mukwena, allegedly at the hands of Zimbabwe's security forces. Authorities must conduct a prompt, thorough, impartial, independent, effective, and transparent investigation into Mukwena's disappearance and torture. The findings of any investigation must be made public and those suspected to be responsible must be brought to justice in fair trials. Everyone, regardless of their political outlook, should be able to freely express themselves and participate in peaceful activism without the fear of abduction or harm. The Zimbabwe authorities must respect, protect, promote and fulfill the right of everyone to physical security and safety. The Zimbabwean Authorities must ensure that enforced disappearance and abductions are treated as extremely serious crimes and ensure justice and accountability. Amnesty International said on August 26, Mokwena was part of a crowd of people that prevented suspected security officials from abducting Promise Mkwananzi, spokesperson of the C during a press conference in Harare. Later that evening, Mokwena was reportedly picked up by a suspected security officials at his home in Highfields, Harare. Mukwena was then tortured and dumped in a forest in Mapinga, Marshwest province. So guys, that's the latest here. And so, uh, personally, I sent it down to Amun Anunzi. I got so good because I got abducted by Amun. I sent it down to Amun. I got so good because I got abducted by Amun. I got so I mean, so many people have been abducted so many times by the Amun. I got so good because I got so good. But at the end of the day, uh, the authorities won't take any stance against those issues. And they will deny everything, like a bunch of And the end, life goes on. Police case cannot police investigation in regarding to what happened to Nelson Mukwena. Anyway, he is one of many, many people who have been abducted by state security agents. With those kind of resources, you can end up with a woman, 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 a those suspected state security agents then we can move forward in Zimbabwe I think as much as we want them to be held accountable uh, I mean it has there are so many names uh, you know by social media because of it I mean so many people have disappeared after that and no one has been held accountable so this is weekly news roundup on Prince Fernando Center TV. Nelson Kwena is one of many, many victims who have suffered in the hands of suspected state security agents. And I know where I was now, what is the number please? And it is no way at Zongo Shika, or no go pinna mba, or no go at a seven go to a door pinna, or to a moon, or Buddha wind, and it will be well orchestrated. And it's like but it is what it is. And so guys, this is weekly news roundup. We hope that you will get justice. But there are twenty percent chances for be held accountable. That's the truth. That's the bottom line. Weekly news roundup on Prince Miller Entertainment. <laughs>